CRHA 9.9, these bays, best variety. You listen to the homie Big Reed, the homie Han boys in the house. We chilling. We got the homie finally in here. It's all good, the homie Nick James. We had a council the other day, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's all I'm good. I'm sorry, though, I apologize. It's, good, it's, good. it's my bad. So we, we're in here today. We want to find out more about you as an artist, as an individual. Talk about the new mixtape, Lit Forever, or is yeah. it an album? It's uh, it's a little bit of both, man. Okay. We, we call it a mixtape just because I fuck with a lot of online cats and, and I ain't trying to pay the prices for the full beat if I ain't got to. So yeah. we work out a little deal, you know what I'm saying? We just call it a mixtape. What's so? You know, it's like that. So what was the creative process behind Live Forever? Um, I made that in about the last two weeks, man. Not two weeks, two months, and uh, right before 420. Uh-huh. And it was just like, I got to put something out because that's really, uh, you know, it's a big, big focus in, in my yeah. music. And um, but I also wanted to focus on making some quality, so I just went in and found all these beats I felt were right for the sound I was looking for, and just went in, man. And it really just came came together on, on its own. We were just working and working in the studio, and you know, got a bunch of features from young cast like Young Gully, um, Show Vanga, Mike Dashy, Mo okay. Green, everybody, man. So you know, it's just. Uh, just worked out the way I, I I hoped it did, man, and I'm just getting nothing but love on it. So that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So how long have you actually been doing music? Like when when uh, did you start as an artist? Probably uh, seriously started about like three years ago to really push my own name, have my own little sound. Okay. Uh, but we've been messing around for like eight years, man, mm-hmm. just in the car or little uh, karaoke machines and just playing. You know what I'm saying? Like with the garage band, but. Uh, I really took it serious about the last three years, man, and I feel like I've really progressed, and people can see that progression in, in that in that time. You know what I'm saying? So you feel you feel different than when you felt three years ago. You feel that, that you're making yeah. an impact right Most now? Most definitely, man. Especially with this mixtape that just dropped on 420 uh, Lit Forever, man. You know, it's just getting a lot of uh, a lot of respect from cats who make music, uh, blog sites, um, and now the, even the females. Like I thought they would catch on with the the 808s and Grace, my first mixtape, but uh-huh. they're even really feeling this uh, this Lit Forever just because it. Like I that. think it just got such a good feel to it man so you know i feel like in the last the last two two weeks since it dropped i feel like a lot of progression just in my name alone has, has came up okay. so i could definitely feel it for so for so so some of the artists that you work for work with so far on lift forever was i think your boy yeah uh, your boy, i think sue's on there i am sue Irk the jerk uh we got uh, like i said mo green mike dashy shout out to mike dash man that's a cool cool guy mm-hmm. uh, really down to earth man my homie uh rail p that's my also my homie um, show banger folks came through and just gassed it you know what yeah. I'm saying and I, and I like certain cats like that because you know what I'm saying they're they're really business oriented at the same time and you yeah. come through to my studio you make sure it's quality and we get exactly what I'm looking for um, but we also uh, I did something with um, who else I got on there man uh, my boy Slick Francis, who I started with. Okay. So uh, I always got to have him on, on at least uh, one song on each tape just because that's, you know, I, I'll never forget where I came from and who so I started. Of course, family, of course. Family thing, bro. You know what yeah, I'm that's yeah. what's up. That's dope. So yeah. we got some of this music sitting in front of me right now. I don't know which track you want to jump into first and let the people know uh, exactly what they in for. I say we get into highest of the high, man. It got that, that old school feel. It feels nice, man. It's that California vibe, and I'm getting a, a good reaction to that one. So let's get into that. For sure, for sure, man. So we finna get into it. <laughs> 